Hello, new wave of British heavy metal.com here today. It's the 3rd of September 2022. Before we get into it, if I could ask the usual opening request for a favor, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that'd be marvelous, appreciated, and every subscriber helps. So uh, please hit the button if you would. Okie dokie, today, going all the way back 1979, the, the marvelous Bill Nelson, of course, who uh, uh, was, was the, the man behind Bebop Deluxe. After Bebop Deluxe split, uh, Bill folded the band and his next project was Red Noise. Um, just the one album before, before Red Noise disappeared as well. And although that album came out in 1979, it, it's remained to this day what, what, one of my favourites. And it's just been reissued in in a re remarkably excellent big box set six cds dvds book poster tour program all sorts of stuff and uh, also uh, uh, if, if you don't fancy the big the big the big box set that there's a two cd version as well and uh, as i've mentioned you know red noise was the band that, that bill formed after disbanding bebop deluxe Putting his name in the title apparently wasn't Bill's idea, um, as, as I understand it. This was at the insistence of the record company, who thought that a band name Red Noise wouldn't wouldn't be too commercially attractive. So having Bill's name in there would be, you know. But I suppose that's record companies for you, isn't it? And uh, Bill, Bill, in in my view, was always moving forward to trying something different. I mean, listen to any two Bebop Deluxe albums, and they don't sound the same, right? He's always trying different stuff and and moving forwards. And gradually, with Bebop Deluxe, uh, and as as was coming in at the time anyway, Bill went more more towards the the electronic um, aspects rather than the you know the, the blazing guitar stuff. And uh, that that became apparent, particularly on Drastic Plastic, which was Bebop's final album, which, which uh, apparently was supposed to be a Red Noise album until the record company persuaded him otherwise, and it went out as a Bebop album. Anyway, history's history, isn't it? And Sound on Sound was, was originally issued, as I've mentioned, back in 1979, with, with Bill going towards the more towards the sort of electro new wave style, which was coming in at the time. Uh, the, the songs are generally short, urgent, spiky and edgy, with a bit of a dystopian feel to them as well. And also there, there was a drastic image change. Bebop Deluxe, of course, the, 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 the huge collars on the shirts, the massive kipper ties and the even bigger flares, they've all gone. And um, uh, th this time it's short cropped hair, haircuts and Chinese chairman Mao style tunic uniforms. Um, I, I remember when, when, when Sound on Sound came out, n nipping out to buy it what, one Saturday afternoon, uh, pro probably at the Virgin Shop in Sheffield or somewhere like that. And as, as I've mentioned, since then it's remained one of my favourite albums and it, it still sounds as fresh to me as it did over 40 years ago. I think Bill was ahead of his time. Not only, well he still is, isn't he? A, a sublime and fluid guitarist but also something of an innovator, as, as we've, we've got some evidence here on, on Red Noise. Don't Touch Me, I'm Electric is a, quite an attention-grabbing opener, fast pace, some weird time changes, and spitting venomous vocals. For Young Moderns is a bit more of a slower affair, but there's a great hook in there. Stop Go Stop, marvellously punchy, and then the excellent furniture music ploughs in with a simple riff. It's sort of like talking headsy-ish. Uh, Radar in my heart, stay young, go back to that new wave electronic spikiness, bit XTC-ish. Uh, the, the entire album is, is, is that bit different and, and refreshing as well. And uh, so B Bill's guitar histrionics have gone for this, bar one brief solo in the Atom Age. Bill, Bill stays away from all that. Uh, but there's generally plenty of punch and, and momentum to everything that's going on. And that's particularly evident in the closing trio of Atom Age. Our empire industry and Revolt into Style have been particularly excellent in, in my view. And Revolt into Style, I think, is a standout on the album. Th there wouldn't be anything further from Red Noise. That that was it. Sound on Sound gone. Most pity. However, as I've mentioned, it has been just just been reissued in in two formats. That that expansive box set with all the CDs and the DVDs and the book. And, and all the rest of it. Uh, there's there's a live a live C, CD from from the Leicester show on the tour, 
various remixes and sessions and old, old grey whistle test for example and what what's what's the jewel in the crown for me is a cd of bill's home demos and it's really interesting to listen to the demos and then the finished album to to hear the differences and how the songs moved from demos to to finished product you've got a 60 page book bill's recollections and a, and a bit of a history of the band all sorts of photographs and marvelous stuff big box set great if, if you can afford it buy it as, as i'm recording this as i say 3rd of september uh, uh, it's available for, for around about 60 pounds which i think is is good value for what you get or if you don't fancy that the, the two cd version that you, you get the remastered album stereo remix some some other assorted tracks and whatnot if, if you prefer that abridged version uh red noise i say what was a one-off was a, was a one-off for bill and the band though it, it's top class stuff it's that bit different and and i think it still sounds as fresh today as it did in 1979 so re recommended stuff whether you're a bill nelson fan like i am or you just like good stuff i'll put links to both versions in the description box on the bit under the video if you'd like to go and check them out and um hope you do because it is that bit different um so thanks for watching thanks for listening please subscribe before you go and of course and of course um sorry just moving something out of the way there that blew in uh do take care all right thanks